Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here at Escape Forever Free, we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. This is our one hour alone time with God, Kickstart Devotional. So we start off with a devotional together and you continue with one hour alone with you and God, no one else. If you're joining for the first time, please subscribe and stay with us. Also, do remember to click the like icon at the end of this video while you're viewing it on YouTube to help to spread this gospel for others to come and share in the light. Let us begin with prayer as we go into our one hour devotional kickstart routine. Father, we thank you for another day that you have given us to worship you. We pray that as we come before you, you'll empty us of all of our sins we beg this morning, please give us your Holy Ghost fire baptism because we need it in the time that we're living in. We need it in preparation for the early rain so we will be ready also to receive the latter rain when you start to pour it out on your people for these last days events. Father, make us keep us faithful and make us wise and surrendered we pray through your Holy Spirit's guidance in Jesus' name. Amen. We go straight into our memory text for this week, which comes to us from Hebrews 1 verses 2 to 3. And it says, Have in these last days, sorry, Hebrews 1 verses 2 to 3, Have in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the ex being it being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by his by the word of his power when he hath by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high hebrews 1 verses 2 to 3 hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the image, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. May God help us to commit this to memory as we seek to glorify his name and edify souls, even our very own. This morning's Maranatha reading is entitled, God's law appears in heavens, in the heavens. The key text for this morning's reading is Psalms 50 and verse six, and it reads, and the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. The reading, God's law appears in the heavens. The clouds sweep back and the starry heavens are seen. Unspeakably glorious in contrast with the black and angry firmament on, the, on either side. The glory of the celestial city streams from the gates ajar. In the temple will be seen the Ark of the Testament, in which were placed the two tables of stone on which are written God's law. These tables of stone will be brought forth from their place, and on them will be seen the Ten Commandments engraved by the fingers of God. These tables, these tables of stone now lying in the Ark of the Testament will be a convincing testimony to the truth and binding claims of God's law. Sacrilegious minds and hearts have thought they were mighty enough to change the times and laws of Jehovah. But save in the archives of heaven, in the ark of God, 
are the original commandments written upon the two tables of stone. No, pot no potentate of earth has power to draw for those tables their sacred hiding from their sacred hiding place beneath the mercy seat. There appears against the sky a hand holding two tables of stone folded together, says the prophet, the heavens shall declare his righteousness for God his judge himself. Psalm 50 verse 6. That holy law, God's righteousness, that amid the thunder and flame was proclaimed from Sinai as the guide of life, is now revealed to men as the rule of judgment. The hand opens the tables, and there are seen the precepts of the Decalogue, traced as with a pen of fire. The words are so plain that all can read them. Memory is aroused. The darkness of superstition, superstition and heresy is swept from every mind. God's ten words, brief, comprehensive, and authoritative, are presented to the view of all the inhabitants of the earth. It is possible. It is impossible possible to describe the horror and despair of those who have trampled upon God's requirements. The enemies of God's law, from the ministers down to the least among them, have a new conception of truth and duty. To it, however, they see that the Sabbath, the fourth commandment, is the seal of the living God. This morning's devotional, God's law appears in heavens, in the heavens, speak of the prophetic revelation and the literal um, revealing to all minds and all people the fact that the Ten Commandments are sacred and that they are the binding law of God which remains forever and ever. However, as the devotional said, too late would have been the cry, would have been the recognition, would have been the desire to give prudence to these laws. Now, while probation lasts, may we read the scriptures to understand the requirements of God that he has set out in the Ten Commandments, our blueprint for life and this on this earth and also eternal life in heaven. May we see true genuine understanding of the Ten Commandments and may we follow them diligently. May we also understand the connection between this fourth commandment, the seventh day Sabbath, and the sealing of God's people for eternal life. Help us to under may the Holy Spirit help us to understand the true author, the true supreme ruler of this earth and of these words and truth and light and may we come into them fully surrendered so that when these days come for us there will be glory and not terror may god help us all so to find these truths we go now to our motivational hymn which is number 218 for this week as we try also to commit it to memory when he cometh stanza three little children little children who love their redeemer are his jewels, precious jewels, his loved and his own. Like the stars of the morning, his bright crown atoning, they shall shine in their beauty, bright gems for his crown. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words of truth and light. May, Father, we understand the blueprints that you have set before us to guide us into good and in outstanding and righteous living while we are traveling on this earth and may we understand the same blueprint that has given us the
guidance that we need for eternal life. Father, help us to be obedient followers of your words and truth. Even give us full understanding of the connection between the seventh day Sabbath and the sealing of your people for eternity and even for the last day's events that shall come upon this earth in the form of the plagues. O oh God, keep us faithful and true and may we work out our salvation with a reverence, fear and trembling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I thank you so much for joining us this morning. It has been quite beautiful having you. Please like the bear and search the scriptures and see if these things are true and get understanding for your own self. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known and always acceptably in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Walk good. But above all, please walk with God. Remember, click the like icon. Spread the algorithms, spread the gospel.